Hey there, you might be wondering who this handsome devil on your screen is. Who I am doesn't matter, but lucky for you, I'm going to be here to teach you about the seven articles and 27 amendments, starting with the former. Now what are the articles? The U.S. Articles are seven main articles for the Constitution that outline a few important things. These are the powers of the legislative, executive, and judicial branches, along with the powers of the federal government and the state government, and how to change the Constitution if needed. Article 1. The Legislative Branch. Now before I go into detail, remember when I say Congress, that implies both the House of Representatives and the Senate. The first article state the outline of the Legislative Branch. What is the Legislative Branch? The legislative branch is all about Congress, which consists of people elected by the people from each state. Now, what does this article outline? It outlines how the checks and balances between the two houses of government in Congress work, and how they make sure no side gets more power over the other, and keeping things neat and fair. This article also states the powers of Congress and how laws are made and passed. Article 2. Executive Branch. Now, the executive branch is the branch the President of the United States holds, and obviously he can't do whatever they want with unchecked power. This article is dedicated to going through the powers the president holds and the procedures of removing them from office or electing someone new for said office. Along with powers and the electing process, this article also explains the responsibilities of a president as you represent all 300 million plus people in the United States. So obviously, you have a lot of public influence that the legislative branch doesn't have. Article 3 judicial branch. Now along with randomly explaining treason, the article more importantly explains how the Supreme Court works in the powers it holds, as it is the Supreme Court's job to be the complaint box for Congress. Congress might make federal laws that are questionable that the states don't follow, and this could lead to Supreme Court cases where the judge settles the case cut clear for everyone to understand. This happened most famously during the Dred Scott case. Article 4, state branch. Wait, not a branch? Oh, I thought the articles were like a tree because branches. <sighs> Bad jokes aside, the fourth article is about the responsibility of the states, the relationship between the states and each other, the relationship between the states and the federal government, and lastly, the responsibilities of Congress to administer new states to the Union under federal land and territories owned by the federal government. Article 5. Amendments. Now this will be explained in more detail in a future video, but this article goes through the ratification of amendments and changing the constitution. The founding fathers knew the world changes if they wanted to or not, so this article has written in case of that, basically if two-thirds of each house in congress and three-fourths of the state vote in favor of an amendment being passed, then it'll pass. Article 6, Supremacy Clause. Not to be confused with Santa Claus, Article 6 states the federal government is the supreme law of the land and that it rules over all state governments. Amendment 13 outlawed slavery constitutionally, meaning if any other state tried to legalize it, that it wouldn't end well because not only federal law says it's illegal, but the Constitution says it's illegal, meaning you're in violation of the supreme law. Article 7, Ratification. The Constitution was a mere thought in the minds of the Continental Congress, and it wasn't fully enacted yet until New Hampshire became the ninth state to ratify this. The Constitution finally became full law for all 13 colonies when nine of them ratified the Constitution as a supreme law. Thank y'all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for the Bill of Rights coming tomorrow.